I'm building a secret gaming room in my couch. I absolutely love my couch. I spend almost all my time here relaxing, watching movies, hanging out with friends. Here's one now. Wait, you mean me? Yeah, you come take a load off. All right, let's go. No, not here, not here, not here. No, there's no room, sit over there. <laughs> Get pranked, I love my couch, but I'm gonna make it even better. Sick prank. So I'm building the ultimate gaming room under my couch. Imagine this, you walk into the room and an elevator shaft comes up and out of the center cushion. The doors open, you get inside, and the elevator goes down. After descending over 100 feet, you get into your underground bunker. There are bean bags, there's a TV with Fortnite on it. It doesn't get any better than this. So all that's left is we gotta go build this thing. Does anybody know how to build a bunker? Okay, so I was looking online for couches and I found this one for about $1,000. But using my skills, I negotiated down to 800. It's still pretty expensive. I'm gonna go pick it up right now. So this is gonna be my new couch. I picked this thing up all by myself. All right, guys, so we can move it over there. <laughs> I feel really bad because I just took all the credit for this and they are doing all the work, but. All right, guys, over there, this way. And then just like, let's take it to the field and we can start cutting it up. They're not gonna be invited though. If you remember earlier in the video, we had that cool blueprint thing. We have to cut this cushion out so the elevator can come up and we gotta cut the legs off. So I'm gonna start with the cushions first. Okay, so it turns out power tools and me do not mix. I'm such an idiot. So this didn't work. I think I cut it a little too fast and something sparked. Uh, I think we gotta start over. Dude, I'm telling you, you're gonna have to. <laughs> it just fell apart. The first couch did not work and was super expensive, but luckily I found another option right here and it's also $800. So I'm gonna burn a hole in my bank account, but I will pay any amount of money to hide from my girlfriend and get my video games in. Let's go. Okay, we got a new couch. This one should work perfectly. I am $1,600 in the hole in this video. Let's get building. Uh, actually, I, I need to tell you guys something real quick. I haven't been feeling great ever since I almost burned down the entire forest near the house. I really wanted to build a super cool gaming room under the couch, but I think I bit off a little more than I could chew, and I don't think I should be allowed to like use power tools, so I have to I have to pivot. I have a different idea. It's a little bit less expensive because I'm already using all of my budget. I promise it'll be cool. Maybe just not elevator into a secret bunker underground. Cool. We can raise the stakes next time, okay? Just let me know if you like this video. Comment down below and we can do something like that. So here's the idea. We're gonna build a secret platform underneath the couch and put it on top, hiding the entire room in plain sight. This is what we came up with. It is a giant Lego box. We made it so it's hollow on the inside. It means a gaming room can be put inside. The gaming room's looking pretty good. It's not done yet, but the hardest part now is making the secret entrance. So we're gonna work on that after I get arrested by these police officers. That's messed up. The question is, is this hiding spot good enough to hide from my girlfriend, my friends, anybody who wants to bother me? Oh, you're, uh, you're gonna need to run away from the cops, dude. Cops are gonna need to run away from me. We'll put wood or some sort of support on top, the couch on top of that, a secret entrance through the couch into the gaming room. Yeah, this is a lot of work. Now I gotta make a secret entrance to get actually into the gaming room, which means, you know, something like this. Yeah, it's kinda, that's like a perfect circle, right? And that's where we'll cut. This is layers and layers and layers of fabric and foam. Here, start grabbing this and start throwing the white uh, fluff in there. That smell made my eyes water, dude. Yeah. Smell, just give, get one whiff in there. Oh, baby. That smells like wet gym bag that's been hanging out for a few days. <laughs> okay, so right now we're taking the couch apart and it smells absolutely terrible inside. I didn't really expect this. I thought it'd be in really nice condition, but I think at some point the whole thing was soaked with water and now it's really dank smelling. So I need, there's gotta be like some Febreze or something. Towels, mop supply, cleaning products. Oh, I walked right into that. Okay, so that's the interior, but it smells terrible, so. Bro, there's not enough Febreze in the world. Careful. This is the hard layer. Oh, that's a problem. No, that's not a problem. You can get through this metal piece right here? Yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna need power tools to do, because look, they're on the bottoms too. Can they just be unscrewed? No, but we can just cut this right here and then. The blade's not gonna cut it. This isn't gonna work. Do you think you can do this? Gotcha. Do you feel strong? Yes, Jack!
but then we have to do it like 15 times. So all we have left, we took all the springs out. You can see there's a nice hole right here. Last step, these metal bands right here. Jack is feeling super confident that he can cut them out with his bare hands. So watch your eyes, bro. Watch your eyes. Oh, that was so easy. All right. Nice work, guys. Okay, now that the hole's cut, we can put the cushions back on. Here's what happens, right? If you sit on this side, this is the normal side, comfortable couch, but if you sit on this side, you fall right through. So, it's a little dangerous. Okay, back it up. Oh. Goody. <laughs> What's up, man? How are you doing? My business. Nothing. None of your business. None of your business. Come be surprised later. Why are there Legos? <laughs> what do you mean? Do you want to try sitting on the couch? <sighs> another day, another video. Whatever, Ryan. <laughs> I haven't seen you in like two weeks. This is what you're doing in my house. You're moving in. Is yeah. this your house? No, sorry. Uh, I think I smell that couch. It got caught in the rain on the way back. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I think we'll be smelling that couch long after. Yeah, after we're done this video, this couch needs to get thrown out. Okay, so the entrance of the couch is finished, but the only problem is you can still see all these ugly Legos. We got to cover that up. Hey. What's up? Couch. Why don't you hop up on the couch? <laughs> There's nothing suspicious about this. <laughs> you hop up, hop up. I got it. This is almost as tall. I mean, this is as tall as me. <laughs> okay, guys, like our original plan didn't work. It's fine. This one smells really bad, though. Smell this. Why would you say it smells really bad and then smell just smell it? it just smell it. Oh. Just get on the couch. <laughs> I'm I don't know what this is. I feel like it's like an ejector seat. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, so the couch is ready to go. The secret room is built, and honestly, I think it looks amazing. You'd have no idea there was something suspicious going on in here. There's totally nothing weird about this. Okay, now sit on that seat. No, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't. You'll fall in. Oh, is this the couch that got burned? <laughs> There's a burn right there. No, it's the hole to get into the secret room. Bro, no one ever said I was a builder. This thing stinks. You stink. So bad. You stink. Yeah, I'm gonna stink now after this. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, give me a rating real quick. Um, honestly, like a one out of 10. Say again? What? What'd you say? One. All right, can you voice over 10 out of 10 on him? 10 out of 10. What is this video turning into? <laughs> I don't know, man, I'm just having fun. But like from here, like you'd have no idea. Yeah, from here, it's like, oh, but then, you know, back up a little bit. <laughs> It looks totally normal, dude. So Stope said that this is kind of weird because it's so high up. I just don't think that I agree, right? It looks totally normal to me. It smells so bad. It's still a secret gaming room though. And as long as my, also my girlfriend hates things that smell bad. So it's actually an even better hiding spot. Are you proud of me? I don't know. <laughs> I think I was more proud of you for lighting the other one on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, was bad. that was probably better. I mean, when I walk in the house, I keep smelling something. I didn't oh. realize it was this. All right, I, I okay. Like, oh, maybe it smell right. All right, so I got to get inside and do a tour right now because apparently it smells so bad that people are oh. like, <laughs> what? That's so bad. Okay, the couch is looking absolutely fantastic. Now it's time for me to hop inside. What? All right, ready? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Okay, so. Finally inside, it's not a ton of headroom, but we do have a lot of pretty cool stuff in here. TV, Xbox, controller. This is the entrance right up here where I just came down through. Got some art, some LED lights. I'm pretty sure I could hide out in this thing for pretty much as long as I want. But for now, let's get some games in. I will say, it's super, super warm in here, and it really smells like wet dog which was not something I was expecting. Honestly, it is pretty spacious though. I can almost extend my entire body. I could hide in here for a pretty long time as long as I keep quiet. We do need to innovate and make it so it's not as easy to tell that there's something under here, but that'll come later. Let's see what we got. Hold on. I think somebody saw me. So far, so good. I'm gonna be honest, out of all the gaming rooms that I've built, real ones or secret ones, this one's probably like a six and a half out of 10. Not bad, but the other ones have been a lot better. But right now I gotta get out of here and I gotta do something about that smell because it is, it is hard to stay in here for this long. 